member Darrell, please add to your legislative priorities for Texas to create law prohibiting transgender bathrooms in schools. Most of our community opposes transgender bathrooms. This board was elected to represent our community and we expect your legislative priorities to be to align with our priorities. Prohibiting that practice is our top priority. 40% of transgendered people want to commit suicide versus the 0.5% nationwide average. Adults are facilitating the permanent castration and sterilization of children. Our Frisco schools must vehemently protect our children from this diabolical movement. Normalizing the transgenderism folly through mixed gender bathrooms will entice children to be gender confused. Texas law and Frisco ISD can provide transgender students with single use accommodations in the nurse or counselor's office. Law and policy must protect the privacy and development of all other students in their single gender bathrooms. Our children are facing enough challenges during puberty. It is abusive and cruel to force them to also question their most basic truth, what their gender is. Also, 10% of our children are victims of sexual molestation. You have a duty to protect them in their private facilities. In our September meeting, Dr. Waldrop was forced to admit that he has allowed transgender bathrooms since 2015. Apparently, the board didn't know either, nor did they ever vote to approve the practice and make it official policy. Dr. Waldrop kept this hidden from the board and the parents for seven years. Dr. Waldrop reports to this board and us parents. His intentional concealment of his transgender bathroom policy is insubordination of the highest order. He knew we would never allow transgender bathrooms, so he hid it from us. Dr. Waldrop is taking unconscionable liberties with our children. Board, how are you sanctioning Dr. Waldrop for this profound breach of our community's trust? Thank you.